All right, so today I will share five reasons why I'm gonna upgrade from Sony A7C to Sony A7 IV, the Sony Alpha 4, which is released on the October 22nd, 2021. If you notice my older videos, you would see that I was not into A7S 3 because of the lower megapixel for photos. I mean, it can definitely do the job, but when you have better megapixel, why sacrifice for a lower one? And based on the testings that I have seen so far on the release date, it looks like the A7 Alpha 4 is almost so close with the low light situation. So I think uh, not much to be sacrificed with a higher megapixel versus the Sony A7S 3 lower megapixel. So with the Alpha 4, we're gonna get a better megapixel for the photos as well as good low light situation for videos and photos. So my five reasons why I'm gonna upgrade from Sony A7C to the Alpha 7.4 is number one, 10-bit color. So I had an opportunity to test out the Sony A7S 3 I have rendered it out a few times. I bought used ones and sold it again just to compare the color between the Sony A7S 3 versus the A7C. A7C has 8-bit color and the A7S 3 has 10-bit color. And now with the Sony Alpha 4, it also is coming with the 10-bit color, which is gonna be a good improvement. So that is reason number one for the upgrade. Number two, on the video side, I was looking for a 4K 60, which is not available on the Sony A7C. On the A7C, the 60 frames per second 1080p quality is less compared to 120. And oftentimes I find using the 60p because for me, most of the time I'm sitting down like this and talking to the camera where I'm putting 24 frames per second. When I'm doing B-roll and shooting behind the scene, the crop mode doesn't affect me because I'm anyway far from the object that I'm trying to shoot and I always prefer a longer focal distance. So crop mode should be okay. I upgraded from A7 III to A7C because of the flip out screen. Now that it's back on the A7 IV, that is the reason number three that I'm interested in the A7 IV. I can live with the flip out screen on the A7C, but if I'm getting a better version of A7 III, with the flip out screen, then I want to sell the A7C and get into the latest and greatest. So I'm going to be enjoying that. Number four is, as I said, better megapixel. A7 III and the A7C has got 24 megapixel and now with A7 IV, it's going to be 33 megapixel. So that is an improvement and why not take it? So that's another reason. And the last but not the least is the additional customized buttons available on the Sony A7 IV which is missing on the Sony A7C. I can definitely use that much more. On the A7C I can still use the function menu and get to those shortcuts that I wanted but having those customizable button makes it much much easier and the picture quality and low light performance testing that I see on the reviews that came out today looks good. So those are the five reasons for me to upgrade from Sony A7C to the Sony A7 IV. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about and walk you through if you are a video or photo person, if you should stay on A7C and what are the reasons maybe you do not need the upgrade. All right, that's all for today. Quick video just to summarize and add some A7 IV videos starting today on the channel. All right, so I'll see you in the next video. More to come on A7 IV, I have put in my pre-order. Most likely I'm gonna get in December or maybe next year Jan. We will see how it goes and once I get it, then I'll do a quick comparison between A7C and A7 IV and more videos related to that. All right guys, see you in the next one. Bye.